plus thrashing to Footscray for the third time in succession. The rot set in during the second quarter when Steve Copping kicked four goals in ten minutes, an onslaught from which the Bulldogs never really recovered. To rub salt into the wounds, the Bombers added ten goals during the final quarter. From Windy Hill, first of all we watch Van der Haar to Donnell and then Danaher caps it off. Dummies, twists and turns, caught. Back to Terry Danaher. Shoots and gone. Another goal to the Bombers, and in the action, Copping, the Bahaja to her. Steady, the long handball, oh, it's going to be bad again, is it? From Shane Hurd. It's a bad and kick. Sewell was the only line. really good player under. for the Bulldogs the today, up forward, not in defence. Coming from Jimmy Sewell, he's kicked one. And a fine job against Edmund. Made Sewell a mistake again. on that occasion, though, because he kept the ball in play. Sewell goes forward. Got punt, merit in But the it was all Essendon, Bahaja to Vanderhaar. Again, it's a cross to Vanderhaar. That and thing. still the goals came. Watson to Fowler to Danaher again. To Fowler. Of course now to Danaher. Terry Danaher puts it through the centre for his third goal. To put the long kick to More the forward black line. More goals. No Copping to Hawker. And Copping. With Doug Hayward and Jeff Leake. In the second term they have the breeze behind them. Umpire Neville Nash. Ruckman, Purser and Madden. Well done, Madden. Down to Budgie, who's been a very good little play. He's had six kicks out to Hurd, who also has had that too. Towards and half forward. Great effort, Egan. Behind the pack, Chris Hansen. Trundles out. Here comes Danaher. Danaher in trouble picking up. Fumbles. Goes to the ground. Picked up there nicely by Kellett. Out to Davidson. On it goes nicely to Kennedy. Kennedy ran too far. And the free kick is against him. Bad luck is all I can say to Rick Kennedy. It doesn't often happen that you're penalised for going too far. Oh, he didn't even get on balance, did he, at that stage? It was a very, very uh, harsh decision on, on him, but that's the rule in the book. Sometimes they paid, sometimes not. Anyway, it's Bahadja with the uh, the free kick, and he gives it everything for up to full four. It won't carry. Van der Haar in the pack. He's not out of position. Three or four foot scrape players there, very desperate. A shot out of the pack. West. By, by West. And it gives the Dons a five-point lead. Davidson, been a pretty good player. Last minute replacement, to half back flank, Williams with Danaher, Brian Cordy, and the ball goes out of bounds at half back flank. In comes Kellett, Danaher did it very nicely, it's intercepted, picked up brilliantly by Hurd, caught, great tackle McKenna, Hurd still with it, cleverly out to Bahadja, caught he is, and it's brilliant football by Footscray defence as Aventi has taken over the line. Well, gee, they're not giving anything away, are they, Footscray? They were as quick as Essendon were as quick. An eye for an eye. Down ahead to take the ruck work in this side uh, with Williams. Or was Purser, rather. Bahadja, another chance. Van der Haar slips in from the side. Oh, man, in front is Copping. He's unbelievable, this fellow, for his inches. He really mesmerises Backman because he always takes the front position, position takes the initiative. They don't think he's... Uh, can be such a great mark for his inches, but he is. He does it time after time. Third mark to Steve Copping, dead in front. Eston leading by five points, and he steers that one straight through. His first. Well, I agree with you, Jeffrey. He really is a fantastic mark. He looks short in physique. He is short in physique. He'd be under six foot, but he's got a wonderful spring. And what's worth another six inches, the most perfect judgment. Well, you can only start thinking now that Essendon had the first three goals on the board in the first quarter when they ran into the breeze. They've taken three minutes to get the first goal on the board for the second quarter. And with still a firm breeze behind them, who knows what they might be at half time. But Footscray are dogged. Bounce in the centre by umpire Nash. Madden beats Purser. Watson helps it on for Essendon and takes clean possession. Long high kick with the breeze. Van der Haar and Copping there. Van der Haar almost. Knocked out by Davidson. Down he goes. Chance for West. Van der Haar keeps it in. For Terry Danaher. But Lund for Footscray. On he goes to Steve McPherson. From half-back flank. Short left footer. 
Oh, intercepted beautifully by Hawker. He might even goal from here. Hooks it back towards the goal square. Copping is there, the only Essendon player. He's got it again. Freak mark by Stephen Copping. Well, you wouldn't back him with counterfeit money again to take the mark. That was a steal. That you summed it well, Greg. So Steve Copping from right in front, a chance for his second goal in a minute. Couldn't miss from there. And another break now to Essendon. Topping five kicks. 